Welcome to the 2020 Annual Report for the Chandler Unified School District. With an area of 80 square miles, Chandler Unified has 47 school sites, 6 support sites, 5,500 employees, and 46,329 students. It's the second largest of Arizona's 227 public school districts. CUSD continues to lead the way among large districts in allocating spending for instruction with 62% of its $315.3 million operating budget funding classroom functions. Hello, I'm Barb Mosden. On behalf of the Chandler School District and Governing Board, I want to thank our community members for passing the school bond election last November. CUSD will use 2019 bond funds for a variety of projects and needs. These include new building construction and renovations, additions to existing facilities, technology and furniture purchases, and buying school buses. Over the past few years, previously approved bond funds have paid for facilities to house the Chandler Online Academy, our special education school called the Chandler Learning Center, and the Elite Performance Academy on the Humphrey campus. We've been able to expand career and technical education offerings and add much needed classroom space at several school locations. We purchased property for new school construction and we were finally able to build a transportation hub where all the district's buses can be stored and maintained in one location. Your investments in our district help make it a more valued partner to our cities, businesses, and other educational institutions all of which work together for healthy growth and the sustained well-being of our communities. We want to dedicate this video to highlighting some of our district's most appreciated partnerships, which allow us to maximize resources, support student success, create student opportunities, and inspire innovations in teaching. The Chandler School District's first documented formal partnership was with the City of Chandler. In 1964, the city and district co-built and operated the first swimming pool at Chandler High School. In 1967, the city and school district partnered a second time to form park and school sites, which explains why so many district schools are adjacent to city parks. The city and district continued and expanded their partnership with the construction of the Chandler Center for the Arts in 1989, the pool and public library at Hamilton High School in 1998, and another pool and library at Basha High in 2003. When the district opened Perry High School in the town of Gilbert in 2007, a new partnership was formed to build and operate another pool and library on that campus. The Gilbert partnership expanded later with a shared vehicle fueling station, and the town recently provided the district with temporary bus parking space while the new transportation hub was constructed. Chandler Unified expanded into the town of Queen Creek in 2012 when it purchased property for Oxier Elementary and Castile High School. The town provided valued assistance and cooperation in getting those schools built, and we look forward to sharing more mutually beneficial opportunities with our third hometown. The Chandler School District has been partnering with neighboring school districts for more than a century. As the area population grew, the district sought out ways to expand opportunities and educational offerings to the community. In 1973, the district partnered with the Maricopa Community College District to offer night courses using Chandler High classrooms. That relationship expanded and eventually led to the approval of a pilot program establishing a district alternative school on the Chandler Gilbert Community College campus in 1989. Today, Chandler Early College continues to provide educational choices for district students. The CGCC partnership also spurred developments in industrial education offerings at Chandler High in the 1990s, creating an airframe and power plant feeder program, preparing students for advanced classes at the college level. District partnerships with colleges and universities to enhance opportunities for students have grown stronger over the last five decades and continue to this day. Two new programs were introduced just this year. Cybersecurity is protecting data, um, protecting the integrity of our networks and devices from digital attacks, from people who would want to do malicious things. Really what's so critical about having cybersecurity at a K-12 is the idea of introducing this career path to everybody. 
We are partnered really tightly with CGCC, Chandler Gilbert Community College, and they help us plan our path so that the students can go into the community college and continue on. From there, if they choose to, they can go on to U of A, and they go in with about 70, 75 credits into U of A, and then finish out in one of their four tracks and also cybersecurity. That partnership has just really helped us do things well because we have people that we can rely on that are communicating with the industry as well as ourselves communicating within industry um, to ensure that our kids are getting what they really need. The ASU Prep Digital Program is a partnership between CUSD and ASU that promotes student achievement in math and science. What they are doing with the content is leveraging university assets. So they use their scientists, their technology to develop a digital curriculum that our students can access online. When we go in the classroom, we'll see students using technology to support their learning. The content is adaptive, so it meets the students where they are in their learning. You'll see students in different models. They might be in a rotation where they're all doing different activities. We will also see students have some choice in where they're going or how they are assessed. The influx of high-tech manufacturing into Chandler beginning in the late 1970s had a huge influence on the city, the school district, and higher education providers in the area. It stimulated population growth and the necessary expansion of public services. Today, the Chandler Chamber of Commerce facilitates highly beneficial relationships between corporations and their municipal and education partners. Chandler Chamber of Commerce and the partnership with Chandler Unified School District is imperative for the future growth here in Chandler. We here at the Chamber really utilize the school district with the quality education that it offers as an economic development tool. That's how we're recruiting these new companies and the new workforce that you're gonna see in the future. Chandler Unified has many corporate partners that work with us to create instructional opportunities that inspire students and teachers and to assist students and families in other ways that support a child's ability to learn. The Chandler Care Center was created in 1995 by Chandler Unified School District and the goal of the Care Center was to address unaddressed needs for our families within our community and specifically our children who may be a little bit more vulnerable or have more needs than some of our other students. Some of those partnerships that are important to highlight are partnerships in our medical and dental clinics and one of our key partners in that area is Dignity Health. The Care Center has partnered with Dignity Health since the mid-90s when we were first opening our facility at San Marcos Elementary School. Our partnership with Dignity Health enables us to provide medical and dental services to kids who are uninsured within the district. Our dental clinic also partners with St. Vincent de Paul's Dental Clinic out of Phoenix, and they came on as a partner in 2013 in order to help provide our students with restorative dental care and they can get everything from cavities filled to extractions to root canals and crowns. And they can also get referrals for orthodontia, endodontia, and oral surgery. Intel has helped us have a very clear understanding of the workforce needs that are happening right here in Arizona. Through this partnership, they have helped us see the importance of including more technology, engineering, and computing within our initiatives. And it's through these initiatives that has helped pave the way for the Chandler Innovation Fair. Intel has been a, a very huge part of making STEM come alive within our school district. Students benefit from seeing other adults in the classroom. Just, just seeing that partnership, teachers working with another adult, whether it's doing art masterpiece or a STEM lesson, having Intel volunteers in the classroom is just a great experience for kids to see. Intel has been involved with Chandler School District since we started in 1980. I've been at Intel for 25 years and for as long as I can remember, we've been volunteering and serving in leadership roles within the school district. Chandler Unified stands out for being on the cutting edge of educational opportunities. And that only works because of the collaboration with our many partners. And we want to thank them all so very much. They provide us with direction, 
resources, and support as we help train new generations of young people to lead us down the road of progress into an ever-changing future. And now I'm very pleased to present this year's brag list of the many awards and special recognitions received by the Chandler Unified students and staff members. Thank you for your ongoing support of our school district.